<laughs> the Wisconsin man accused of killing his girlfriend in Colombia was back in court today. John Pulos is originally from Franklin, but he now finds himself in a Colombian jail for the murder of a DJ that was has captured international attention. CBS 58's Victor Acobo is here in the studio to share the latest update on this case. And Victor, where do things stand right now? Yeah, Mike and Amanda, the court proceedings right now are in limbo. John Pulos is fighting for his freedom after being accused of killing Valentina Tres Palacios. The Franklin man is trying to get the case tossed out on procedural grounds. This is John Pulos. John Pulos didn't speak much at his latest appearance in the Colombian courtroom, only to assure the judge he was listening to proceedings via a translator. Uh, yes, she is for the purposes of working with my attorney, yes. Pulos, a native of Franklin, is facing charges of femicide and tampering of evidence. He's accused of killing his girlfriend, Colombian DJ Valentina Tres Palacios, disposing her body in a dumpster and trying to escape overseas. In Wisconsin, de donde es oriundo, el señor John Nelson Paulus. At today's hearing, defense lawyers for Pulos motioned for the judge to nullify the case, claiming Pulos, who does not speak Spanish, received inadequate translation while in custody and during his first court appearances. Lawyers claimed since the charge of femicide does not exist in Wisconsin, Pulos needed adequate translation to explain accusations against him, but they say authorities failed to do that. Si es que en algún momento no entendió alguna parte. Prosecutors fought back, saying officials did communicate accusations and rights to Pulos, and that Pulos never raised the issue of translation until later. The judge now will decide on April 27th on whether to grant the notification or move ahead with the trial. Now back here in Wisconsin, court records show a Milwaukee County judge granted a judgment of absolute divorce in late March to Pulos' now ex-wife. That came after the court considered John Pulos' current status and found the marriage to be irretrievably broken. The divorce was filed back in January of 2021. Live in the studio, Victor Jacobo, CBS 58.